To be honest with you, I need to scoot this up. Chase is texting me. He's so nice. Okay, Doki. This shirt is itching. I've had a day. I've had really had a day. This is not sponsored. Obviously, this has literally nothing to do with anything that today's video is about. But True Vani, if you were on like this wholesome whole life, okay? If you ever did the Whole30, want to do the Whole30, or are looking for a protein powder that is dairy-free, gluten-free, soy-free, free of all the things and doesn't have any artificial flavor in it or sweetener, True Vani is literally the best. I want them to sponsor me so bad. It's expensive as heck. It's expensive. It's like 50 bucks for 20 servings, but... It's worth it because it's protein powder that doesn't hurt my stomach and it's easy to metabolize. And it's not bad for you. Fawn Beauty Recovery and Glow Lip Oil. I promise we're going to get into the content of this video. Hi everyone. Welcome to today's video. So as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be talking about my absolute favorite complexion products. We're going to get right into it. I'm not going to fluff it up. What? <clears throat> I'm not going to fluff it up any okay i'm not gonna add any extra things that you guys don't need to know these are just my favorite complexion products i'll tell you why that they are leave you um all the information in the description box so we're gonna be talking about foundation and concealer i can continue this as a series and do like my favorite bronzers my favorite blushes etc if that's something that you guys would be interested in but i feel like if you have a good base routine you got a good routine you know what i'm saying let's get into it okay obviously number one is having really good skin um that's just gonna make everything look a little bit better you know but sometimes we go through things that we don't have the best of skin and it just be like that sometimes so these products i feel like are universal if i'm having a breakout or if i'm having a really good skincare day or skin day i don't have a filter on this at all this is my skin in 4k okay she's up there um these are just phenomenal products and i feel like they work for all sorts of People, they work for all sorts of skin types and they are universal. So, um, let's get, <clears throat> so also I would like to note that these are acne safe. So if you're somebody who struggles with acne, sensitive skin, rosacea, eczema, etc., these are products that are going to work for you and don't, go, don't contain any pore clogging ingredients. So number one, we have the tried and true Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. So this is a foundation that's been around for probably 47,000 years. Not really, but it's been around for a while. It's beautiful. It's just what you would consider to be like a high definition red carpet foundation in my opinion. So if you were looking for something that's going to give you medium to buildable coverage that is going to look not like skin because I wouldn't say that it has a skin like finish. I have it on today mixed with the house labs. Um, but looks very natural and very radiant. It doesn't give you that cakey um, look that a lot of foundations do. It's not going to be like Estee Lauder double wear. It's not going to be like Huda Beauty's faux filter foundation. It is very much so a gorgeous foundation that I feel like is will work for so many different skin types and skin concerns. If you have pigmentation or whatever it is, you can build it up. If you want a really light coverage out of it, you can put it put it on with a sponge and you're going to get that. But it's just going to perfect your face and it really is like a luminous silk. I love the name of it. I think that it is really truly a great name um, because it just describes the foundation really well. It is like luminous silk. It's a silky looking feeling foundation. Blends very easily. It comes with a massive, massive variety of shade ranges. And um, the concealer as well, which I'll talk about in a second. Absolutely phenomenal. I just love, love, love this foundation. You can also get it in the minis because it is a little bit pricey. I have this in a few different shades. This is the shade 7.8. They're, excuse me, their olive undertones are so good and i adore it so if you're looking for an everyday foundation or maybe an event foundation something like that and you want to have something that you feel like is going to cover all the bases that you can use for going out you can also use for just like a really light day this is such a good one now i would have to say that my number one probably not probably my number one is the house labs triclone foundation so a little bit about this this is a patent pending formula it has arnica in it which is really good for inflammation for healing for anybody with sensitive skin or really just sensitive skin um arnica is a lot of the times what people use for bruising or inflammation swelling etc so the fact that a foundation has that and also has a blend of three different silicones so whether it's dimethicone silicone etc it's got a blend of those and it just glides over the skin and does something that I've never seen a foundation do ever. I can't explain it to you because it's innovative, it's unheard of, it's not something that's like, oh, I can compare it to this foundation or oh, I can compare it to this product. There is no product that I've ever seen 
perform this way. This, the only reason I mix this today is because I don't have my exact shade in it, but I ordered three more yesterday um, to take with me to the pageant. And it just smooths, I guess that's what I'm, what I want to say is that it just smooths out your skin so, so, so well and looks so seamless and beautiful and really just stunning. Like it is just a beautiful foundation. Um, my boyfriend's mom actually, she was looking for a new foundation. She was using the Cogent Doe and I was like, listen, you have to try the House Labs foundation. It is my favorite foundation of all time. She loves it. Everybody that I've told to try loves it. Again, it's acne safe. You get one fluid ounce. You come in, it's in a really nice bottle. Um, the overall just feel is luxurious i think that it's 39 or 42 dollars something like that the price point's not bad at all especially for a um high-end foundation but the way that it makes your skin look and continuously look that way like when i put it on it's flawless but it continues to look better throughout the day and any makeup product that does that for me is a winner in my book so i fully enjoy this one i love it i love the ingredients in it i love that it's innovative it's an out of a korean lab in obviously korea but it's just different like it's not something that you can just go pick off the shelf anywhere it's not something that can be duped it's just it's so good for my lighter makeup days i've been loving this chanel Le beige water fresh complexion tint so this is a product that i actually heard about through um page Higgins, which I don't know how to say her last name now. She did, in fact, get married. She's a makeup artist. She's a celebrity makeup artist out of Nashville. We have a video on here together. I adore her. Um, but she was talking about this product on her Instagram stories and saying that it looked so beautiful and natural. And so I was like, period, I have to pick it up. So whenever we went to Nashville for my birthday, um, I actually went to the Nordstrom there and ended up picking it up. And I picked mine up in the shade B50. Um, it is deep but it actually matches my skin tone right now because i'm pretty tan it really is a tint like it's just a tint so if you're looking for something to give you a whole lot of coverage or anything like that it's not going to do that but it's more so like a perfecting tint it doesn't have a whole lot of silicone it doesn't have like a silicone slippy feel to it it just is going to provide you with a little bit of a color and almost like a perfecter it's like a little it's not a bb cream because i think of a cream formula this is a water but if a bb cream and water had a baby this would be it. So it's a little bit of a beauty blur, a little bit of a perfecting product, but mainly just a tint and it's just beautiful. And you might be like, okay, well, why would I pay that for a tint? Because this is also innovative. It's like a product I've never seen before. It's not like the Maybelline, you know, four in one. It's not like the Maybelline BB cream. I've used the products. I've used Purito. I've used Misha. I've used all these products. I mean, I'm in the industry myself and it's just unlike anything I've ever used. And that's why I feel like there's a special time and place for it. And I'm like, okay, this is a really good, innovative, different kind of product, different kind of formula that I feel like brings something to the beauty community and into the industry that doesn't exist. Their Water Fresh Tint, in my opinion, not the Complexion Touch, but their Water Fresh Tint has more coverage. And this doesn't have as much coverage, in my opinion. But I do think it's a little bit buildable. So... That's my two cents on that. I wore this out on the night before my birthday in Nashville, and it looked beautiful. It was really, really stunning. It was easy to blend. It was gorgeous. I like to mix it with the, say, um, Super Glowy Gel or Glowy Super Gel. I don't really know how to pronounce or how which letters and whatever comes first. But I love this product as well. I think this is beautiful. It is acne safe. The darkest shade um, is not. I think it's Sun Glow, but Warm Glow and the other one are, in fact, acne safe. So I love those. You guys have probably seen in my videos, I'll take a pump of this, I'll take a pump of this, and so I'm moisturizer, mix it up, and put it all over my face. You could also do that with your SPF if you wanted to. Um, I just like mixing products, and I like making little concoctions and making my own little cocktail of my favorite products. That's why I did the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk to get the olive undertones today, and then used the House Labs mixed in it as well, so that's that. For my next products, we're going to be talking a little bit about concealers and one eye brightener, which I also consider a concealer. So this is the Rare Beauty Positive Light Eye Brightener. I have mine in the shade Light. There is one before this called Fair, and then, like I said, mine is Light. Let's Light Medium. Um, this has a metal tip applicator. So I'm really, you know, like that's fine with me. I'm not crazy about it. But the product itself is like nothing else I've ever used. And again, that's why I say that these products are so good because they are incredibly innovative. There's just something different about them that I've never seen be done before. I've never felt a product like this. I've never seen something, you know, like, what's the word I'm looking for? Blend. I've never seen anything behave. Well, there's a C word I'm looking for. I don't know. Okay. 
I don't know. Anyways, I've never seen a product that performs like this. That's it. I've never seen a product that performs like this. And it just goes on so, so easily and blends out and really does a great job of brightening your under eyes. And it almost has like this spandex effect for your under eyes. Like it almost goes on there and like completely gets rid of any fine lines, wrinkles, creases, crepes, like anything underneath your eyes that you really don't want there and just smooths it out and blends like a dream. I use a brush with this and it really just brightens that area. And you can use this with no makeup. Like if I'm having a no makeup makeup day and I'm like, girl, I'm gonna put on a little bit of eye brightener. Like I ain't gonna go out looking crusty, dusty, rusty. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'll put a little bit of this on and it looks phenomenal. It's just undetectable, beautiful coverage. Just a tiny bit of something, something to brighten up the under eye. Uh, I adore it. I really do. It's so, so good. I love the innovative formula. I think that there's a lot of product what? There's a lot of products from Rare Beauty that are kind of innovative in the industry, but this one specifically, I would like, this is my number one from her brand. Seriously. The next product I have literally talked about so much. This is the e.l.f. Flawless Brightening Concealer. You guys know I've gone on and on and on about this concealer. It has a tip kind of like the Touche Clot from YSL, which I'll always love that product, but this is a affordable option. It gives you the brightening effect of a concealer without the actual coverage. So if you're somebody who's like, I have dark circles or whatever it is. It's not all the time that you necessarily need um, a, a a very heavy full coverage concealer at all. You may just need brightening because if you're brightening that area, it's going to bring light to that area and make it look more plump. That's what you want. You don't want a full coverage concealer. That's just going to exaggerate. Exaggerate. Can I speak today? It's going to exaggerate your fine lines, wrinkles, and anything that you have going on under your eyes. You want to bring light to it, not cover it up. You get what I'm saying? So this and the Rare Beauty product together, holy matrimony. Holy matrimony. For concealer that's actually concealer, this Ilia True Skin Serum Concealer, I've also talked about this nonstop. You guys know that I love this, specifically because I feel like it is a wonderful creamy concealer. It's not that it's undetectable, but it's so blendable and so easy to use alongside other products. So if I have on a full face of makeup and I want to go in with this, even if I, after I've powdered, I fully can. Like it's going to blend out. It's still going to look good. It's going to do the dang thing. It's going to do its job. You know what I'm saying? So I love this for that reason. I don't find that it creases on me. I find that it has a very long wear. I think it comes in a wide variety of shades. It's just beautiful, honestly. Um, and it is a serum like concealer. So it goes on, blends out flawlessly, stays where it's supposed to, provides that coverage. It's buildable, but like I said, I don't like a full coverage under your eyes. I think it makes your eyes look heavy and makes them look a little crepey and cakey, to be honest with you. If you're using like NARS Soft Matte Concealer or you're using Tarte Shape Tape, God forbid, under your eyes, like you're probably going to go to jail if we're being honest with each other. Try something lighter. I'm begging you. Try something lighter in a lighter color and tell me you don't like it better. You won't be able to. You literally won't. Um, I thought I would mention this, to be honest with you. I wasn't going to, but I feel like these are honorable mentions because they are technically complexion products. I already talked about the Say, um, so this is kind of the same vibe. These are highlighting products. So I will go over my makeup with this to create, like, a really pretty glow. Um, just give you a natural, like, luminous look. Also beautiful if I want a no-makeup makeup look. I'll use that Rare Beauty um, eye brightener with this on the high points of my cheeks. little blush, and I'm out the door, okay? But I wanted to mention these two because they are my rider dies. So this e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter, you guys have seen me use this probably a hundred times. I use it as a bronzer um, and I use it in the shade 5 medium. It has this big doe foot applicator, which I love and adore. It's a little bit bigger than the um, Charlotte Tilbury one. And then I have the Charlotte Tilbury one and I have it in the shade 7 deep. So the reason I have this one is also because I use it as a bronzer in the summertime whenever I have a tan. I get really, really dark like my face, I don't tan, but my body gets really dark. And so this has a beautiful red undertone and I have a Native American bloodline, like I'm very Native American. So anytime I get a tan, I get tan really quick and I get um, a red undertone because I'm Cherokee. And so this is my absolute favorite. So my advice to you is find a shade that has your undertone of your tan, use it as a bronzer. It's phenomenal. The only reason I didn't get this one in the Elf is because they didn't have one that had like a very red undertone. Um, but I adore it. It's, it's so good. The, the only other thing that I was going to talk about is the Giorgio Armani concealer. I have mine in the shade six, which is a olive undertone. And if I don't have any, if I'm not tan at all, this is my literal perfect shade. It is so beautiful. I love the applicator on this because it honestly holds a lot of product. Why is it focused on my face? It holds a ton of product on there and will really just 
blend out beautifully. It be blends into the skin. It's, I find it's more skin-like than the actual foundation is, honestly. And I just love the way that it looks. It's very flexible. It's just, it's just, it's so good, honestly. Like, I'm telling you guys, I've used a ton of products. A ton. I've tried all the things. I'm constantly trying new things. I'm developing things myself. These are the best of the best that's on the market at the moment. And that's that. So if you want to have a flawless complexion, if you want to be feeling yourself, these are those products, okay? I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you want to make this, or if you want me to make this a series, let your girl know, and I'll be happy to. I hope you all enjoyed today's video, and if you did, make sure to like and subscribe before you leave, and I hope that you have a fabulous day.